and welcome to London Mums Fitness. So today we are doing a baby wearing workout. So either you have your baby in your sling, like so, or you have your baby free just holding it. Or him or her, not it. Um, so you want to make sure that you've got, if, if your baby's in, in your carrier, then it's nice and secure. Okay, so this one is a nice soft one and it's um, tightened around the back. And um, according to the NICE guidelines, you want to make sure that you can kiss your baby's head. But if you have any concerns about how your baby should be in your carrier, just check with your carrier provider or check with the NICE guidelines, N-I-C-E, okay? So we will be doing a 16-minute workout, okay? We've got eight different exercises that we will be doing twice through. 40 seconds each one with a 20-second rest in between and we will be needing one set of dumbbells or one set of tins or bottles or if, you, if you've got no equipment to talk about, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, your baby is more than enough as well. So we're going to do a little warm-up just to get that heart rate up. Make sure that you've just got a, a single piece of clothing on top and your baby's also wearing just a, like, um, just a baby grow. And he's got some socks on here as well just to keep his little toes warm. Right, let's get started. So just starting with marching on the spot just to gradually get that heart rate up and to repair our body for exercise. If at any time during this you need to feed your baby or change your baby, then please do it. Then you can just jump back in at any time. I roll the shoulders back, big circles, and take it forward. And just to curl out those hamstrings, just do some hamstring curls. You can either hold your baby and just have your hand either side, whichever you feel uncomfortable with. Really nice. Curling those legs back and just do some normal body weight squats. Thrusting those hips up, inhale down, exhale coming up. Our first exercise is simply marching on the spot. So it's marching on the spot, pumping those arms, getting that heart rate up. So just think when you're pregnant, I'm sure you did a lot of walking, so your baby is used to moving around. So it's fantastic that you still continue exercising with your baby. I personally love it. The bonding time it gives us is just amazing. He was awake at the start and now he's fallen asleep, which is perfect. Happy mummy, happy baby right now. I'd right, really pump those arms, get that heart rate up. Last few seconds. <clears throat> In three, two, one. And resting it there, perfect. Right, picking up your weights, nice and gently. Okay, I'm doing um, bicep curls, so feet, shoulder hip width apart, slight bend in the knee, inhaling up, exhaling down, making sure that you've got a straight spine, so your posture's good, tummy tight, glutes tight. That's going really slow and controlled. And down, inhale up, perfect. Inhale, really good work. So if at any time of this you need to drop the weights, then please do, making sure those shoulders are relaxed, don't hunch up your shoulders, keep it nice, long neck. So squeezing that tummy tight to protect the lower back. And when you bring the weights up, it's away from your baby's head. Really good. So just think, you need to get these biceps nice and strong when we pick up our baby carrier, pick up the pride, even pick up the baby. And resting it there. Right, we're gonna be holding the weights this time. You can either have, have the weights or not have the weights, and we're going to be doing some squats. So I'm going to be holding the weights either side, and going down, and coming up. Obviously your baby is one weight, but if you want to have extra weight, then that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to show you this. Ready? Inhale down, exhale up, thrusting the hips to the top, squeezing the glutes. I'll show you from the side. Inhale, exhale, coming up. So my weight's in between my legs, bringing the weight down. As I come up, I'm pulling up on that pelvic floor as well. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, squeeze up. Really give you a big squeeze of those glutes. Keep that core tight. Keep that chest up looking forward. And keep breathing. Never hold that breath of yours. Really good. Last few. And shake it off. Right, we're going to be doing alternating front raise and lateral raise. So feet hip width apart, 
we're taking the weights up to shoulder height and out to shoulder height. So you can once again do this with or without the weights. Keeping that tummy tight, long, tall posture. Let's go forward and out. Forward and out. Really good, getting those arms nice and strong. Really good, keep that tummy tight. If it gets a little um, heavy, then just drop the weight or you can give yourself a little bounce with 10 seconds to go. Doing good. Stay strong. Really nice. And resting it there. Right, we are now going into tricep extension. So placing one weight down, put it on the side here, and tricep extension. So taking the weight behind your head, away from your baby, Slight bend in the knees, holding the weight in one hand, exhale up, inhale down, let's go. So keeping both elbows pointing forward, really good. Pushing up and down, push and down. Squeeze that tummy tight to protect that lower back. See how both my elbows are forward, exhale. Ten seconds, we've got this. Really good work. Right to the end. Two, one, and take the weight away from your baby's head and placing it down. Right, we're now going to do lunge and kick. So hold your baby, if, if you wish, we're going to be lunging back and kicking forward, switching legs, lunging back, Kicking forward, are we ready? Let's go, so when we lunge down, we'll make sure that that knee doesn't go over the toe. I'll show you from the side. So lunging back, kick forward. Lunging back, kick forward. You can take away the kick if you find that easier. Okay, kick forward. Back, kick forward. Kick forward. So all these exercises are also working your core, remember that. But activating your core, that means your core is working. <sighs> Nearly there. And shake it off. Right, we're now going to be going down into a V-sit hold. So coming down with your baby. And we're just going to be holding the position like so. Nothing else, no weight needed at all just you and your baby. And you'll be sitting back at about a 45 degree angle. Let's go, so it's holding it back, breathing it there, in through the nose, out through the mouth. To make it harder, you go back a little bit more. If you really wanna make it harder, you can lift those legs up. Cross them or uncross them, whichever you wish. And we're just holding it 20 seconds to go. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feet down, just listen to that body of yours, okay? Very important. Last few seconds. And resting it there. Right, we're gonna do another core exercise. So leaning back this time, legs are bent, and we'll be sliding one leg out and bring it in, and the other one and bring it in. Or if you want to do both together, then that's absolutely fine, okay? Two, one, let's go. Take both legs out, both legs in. So this really targets that bottom part of your core. Exhale, inhale. Keeping those knees shoulder width apart. Really good work. So it's very important that once you've exercised today, that you hydrate a lot and you, your baby hydrates a lot as well because your baby's also exercising as well even though they are just sleeping but they're on you so they are moving last few feel that core really working and resting it right gently coming up and we have finished round one we are now heading into round two 
So either we can continue with the marching on the spot, or you can do the hamstring curls. Your choice, I'm doing the hamstring curls. So hamstring curls, like so. Holding your baby, or using those arms. Really nice. If you're much on the spot, get those legs nice and high. Remember your baby is used to this motion. You were walking a lot, I'm sure, when you were pregnant. So they love being moved around, but just not jumping. Last few seconds, really good. Right, and resting it there. Right, are we ready to get into those weights? Bicep curls, okay? Taking the weights, one in each hand. Remember, you can do this without weights as well. Choose a weight that you are happy with, listen to your body. Everybody's pregnancy journey is different, as is everyone's postpartum journey. Ready? Let's go slowly up and slowly all the way down. Inhale up. Slowly down. I want to try and get some time under tension here. So if you think when you're holding your car seat, you know you're holding it a lot like that, aren't you? So you want to be able to have nice strong biceps to be able to hold that car seat for a long period of time, hence why I want to do it nice and slowly. So time under tension makes it harder, the slower we go. Last few, slow down and resting it there, right into our squats. So feet just wide of the shoulder width apart. Once again, I'm going to be holding the weights in between my legs. Inhale down, exhale up, squeeze the glutes at the top and thrust those hips. Roll those shoulders back nice and tall and proud. Are we ready? Let's go. Exhale up. Really good. Inhale, exhale up, squeeze those glutes to the top. Really nice. Keep tall. If you need to drop those weights at any time, then that is absolutely fine. You are so amazing doing this. One more. And resting it there, shake it off. Right, lateral raise and front raise alternating. So, got the weights, roll those shoulders back, only up to shoulder height each time, and slight bend in the knees, straight posture. In case your hips are forward, your hips aren't back, keep those glutes turned on. And let's go. Just up to shoulder height. If you need to alternate, that's another option that you can do, like so, or together. And if you need to drop the weights, I'll show you how to drop in the weights, place them down on the side, and doing the same. Okay? Just listen to that body of yours. I'll continue like this for the last few seconds. Tummy is turned on, core is activated. Glutes are tight, and rest, shake it off, right into our tricep extension. So taking one weight, holding it with both hands, taking it away from your baby's head. Both elbows pointing together, slight bend in the knee. Are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Exhale, push up. Exhale, push up, tummy tight. my baby snoring, it's very cute. Fantastic work. Last few seconds, well over halfway. So really sure you've got a nice bend in the knee, if you need to drop the weight at any time, then do. Keep looking forward, relaxing the shoulders, shoulders not hunched up, got a nice long neck. Taking all the way down, slowly all the way up. And taking the weight away from your baby's head and into our lunge and kick. So both weights on the side. 
So um, reverse lunge and forward kick. So working the triceps, by the way, is really important because you've got to keep, if you're working the um, biceps a lot, you also want to work the opposite muscle. So take it back and kick forward. Back and kick forward. 90 degree bend in that front and back knee. Making sure that knee does not go over the toe. Exhale up, inhale. And again. If you feel like you're losing balance at all, just stop, making sure your feet are wide. Kick forward. Remember you can take away the kick if that's easier and you can just do nice reverse lunges. <laughs> Effort for the kick. Amazing work. Right, coming down into our V-sit hold. So no weight, you're gently coming down with your baby, okay? And we're so sitting back as far as we can, activating that core, breathing through it the whole time, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Are we ready? Sit back and let's go. So we're just holding it here. Remember your feet are down or your feet are up. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, really nice. So my baby, he, he does actually really like to nap in the sling, which is great. So I do quite often do workouts with him <clears throat> because then it saves time as well. So whilst he's napping, instead of doing the cleaning, I can work on me and do a little workout. Keep going, last few reps. Two, one, and rest coming up sitting, well done. Right, final exercise, aren't we ready? Okay, taking out those legs, sitting back, both toes, uh, both fingers pointing forward, relax your shoulders, don't hunch up, nice and tall, feet hip width apart, and taking one out each side, all together. Let's go. Taking in as far as we can, exhale, and in, sliding out, and in. Really good work. Right, we're over halfway, take it right to the end. Slow and controlled. Right to the end. Last 10 seconds. You are absolutely amazing to have completed this with me today. And rest it there, coming up to standing gently. And let's do a cool down, taking that body back to its pre-exercise state. Really, really good work. Now please make sure you drink a lot of water today, okay? And taking one heel forward, feeling a nice stretch down on that hamstring. And switching sides. Really good work. Shaking it off, twisting either side. Fantastic, honestly, well done. You should be so proud of yourself. Give yourself a huge round of applause. You are absolutely amazing to have just completed this workout with your baby. If you've got any questions at all, then just drop us a message. London Mums Fitness, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and also our website, londonmumsfitness.com. Do tag us in your post-workout selfies on Instagram and Facebook. And keep eating well, colorful foods, and I'll see you next time.